talk about Carlos Miller perspective on homelessness and y'all let me know in the comment section what you think of this whole situation because baby it's a lot to unpack so let's get into it I agree with Carlos Miller to a certain extent and I'm going to explain why I agree with Carlos Miller because of the simple fact that he brought up some valid points to the class that people were not listening to understand but to just to listen to respond Carlos went on to talk about that it's not our problem because there are government officials people in power, people that have the financial resources to take care of homelessness with a push of a button. But instead of going to the homeless shelters in the rehab facilities to put funding in them, they choose not to use their money for that. They choose to use their money for other places and resources. And I feel like people were not understanding that when he was talking about it. Then he goes on to talk to Nick Young and says that you are an NBA basketball player that has millions of dollars. And the only time that you're seen in those environments is when it's the holidays. And that is to say this, that that's not all celebrities, not all athletes that do that. There are probably some athletes and celebrities that go out to those communities more often than most, but they're not going to post it. And even if they do post it, you are a fan of their work and you know that those organizations do what they do, but they're not doing it for PR. They're not doing it for clout. They're doing it because they're doing it at the goodness of the heart. But there might be some that are trying to put their image to make them look like a quote unquote good celebrity and a good citizen, but they don't care. And I think that's what Carlos was trying to say. Like, why should it be our problems? We're trying to bounce back from a pandemic, you know what I mean? Like there's people that are still to this day that lost their jobs during the pandemic. They're not in a financial situation where they can get back like most people can who has been blessed to have a job. People that are blessed that have a house. And it makes you sit back and think that you have to realize the little things that we take for granted is something that somebody is trying to fight for. That's why that I can testify and say that I am grateful for all things that God has done for me, the good, the bad, and the ugly, because it could be worse. So I am grateful that during the time that we were in a pandemic, I was still employed. I am grateful that God has brought me through some dark times as well as some happy times. And there's some people that don't have that. And that's when Carlos went on to say, there's people that, that don't have that faith, that don't have that belief, that they can't get out of that dark place, that they stay in that dark place. And unfortunately, they turn to drugs. They turn to the bottle. They turn to the needle. And it's sad because there's nothing we can do about it. You know, there's only so much a person can do. There's only so many rallies. There's only so many donations you can do. It takes an individual to wake up one day and say, you know what? I'm not going to take this bottle. I'm not going to take this needle. I'm not going to sit up here and mess up my life. I'm going to do better. And that's what people need to realize that it's a mentality thing, not only financially, but mentality. You got to get out the mental space of that you're going to stay there forever because trouble does not last always. I'm here to tell y'all that. Trouble does not last always. Like, yes, and you might be in a season where there is storms, but then you're going to eventually see the sunshine and you won't see the rain. And I'm just here to tell y'all that Carlos was given some valid points, whether they agree or disagree, that is what college is about. College is about challenging your philosophy, your sociology, challenging you as a person, that the things that you learn at home, as well as you learn K through 12, now that you're in college, you're in a room with people with different personalities that are very outspoken and they stand behind on what they believe in. And unless you have some facts and evidence to push back to what that person is challenging, then you're gonna have people like Carlos to challenge you and to ask the question, why? And that's what I loved about college because I felt like it made me a better person today because I learned a different perspective of all aspects of life. I learned different things that I didn't, wouldn't have never learned if I didn't go to school. Now that is to say this, y'all let me know in the comment section what you guys think of this whole situation. If you guys wanna see any more rants, reaction, girl talks, let me know, DM me on my social media platforms that is listed down below, as well as if there's any video ideas that you guys have, make sure that you guys DM me on my social media. I am open to them. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.